Hello again, everyone. How are you all? Hope everyone is well. Um, yeah, I have got the BBC Micro today. I was out in town, and today I saw a couple of games for the BBC Micro that made me thought, Do you know what? I haven't done a video on this for a while. I really enjoy the games. So let's, you know, let's do a video on the BBC Micro. If you don't know what a BBC Micro is, it is this computer here. And it is, most people would recognize it for the computer you used to use in school, not so much one that you used to have like at home. Um, the cut down version of this was the um, Acorn Electron. But today we're going to be playing the BBC Micro. Uh, I have an SD card for this. Uh, it's the BBC 2IEC inside, so it's nice and easy to flick through some games. So let's get back up to here. And as you can see, we have Mr. E, and it's a, a clone of Mr. Do. But the reason why I actually wanted to um, do this game is because this is actually one of the games that was in the shop today that was going to buy. Um, and if anyone's there, can you just let me know whether the sound is actually working or not? Because uh, my, my phone will not, will not work with my microphone. So I'm relying on the actual microphone on the phone itself. So, and you, hello there, how are you doing? Yeah, the BBC today, BBC Micro. Uh, and we're going to play some Mr. Do and then go for a couple of different games. Um, can you actually hear me okay? Just let me know, Is the, how's the sound? Um, you know me with these streams, nothing ever goes right. But I do them nonetheless. So, we have Mr. Do, and I'm trying to remember what the controls were for this. But Mr. E, yeah, in the shop where I saw these today, they were five pound a game on tape, which to be honest, you can hear me, uh, which I thought was a little bit expensive um, for tape games, especially for the BBC. Space to fire. Right, here we are. Can we lock this? Now, can you hear the beeps of that? Oh, that's it. Damn, wrong button. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't change the volume level of the BBC. I've not. I have to concentrate playing with the keyboard. Oh, I missed one. Oh, that was the wrong way. Audible. Yeah, I, I, you know, I do apologise if the sound's not right on these. I've tried doing YouTube live. Yeah, you got it. I've tried doing YouTube lives and everything else. Um, I've until I upgrade my phone or get some way of doing it through, like an iPad or something like that. Oh, can I get that? Oh, I've got to shoot that, haven't I? Shoot. What's the shoot button? That one. Oh, no. Damn. Forgot which button I had. Oh, that was close. I do really think the BBC was completely underrated. Um, most people thought of it as a home, uh, as a school computer. When... There was just a hell of a lot more you could do with it. I mean, granted, it was very expensive. If you got to think of what what the Spectrum was back in the day, um, that one. Yeah, you got yeah. Are there any requests for BBC games? Hey, extra bonus. Very, very good port of Mr. Doobis. Although I am finding it quite difficult. Oh, 
Oh, he got me. Hi. You all right? How you doing? Is, is the sound of the game too loud? Let me know, because I'll see if I can do something about it. Doctor Who game. Uh, there actually are two on here. Oh, damn it. There are two Doctor Who games. Let's forget when you're trying to play a game and... Hey, level two done. We'll go for the menu in a bit, and if you see any games that you remember playing... Oh, I looking at the wrong character. It's got a very decent port of Bubble Bobble on the BBC. Oh, went the wrong way. I'm supposed to get down, not up. Loud and clear, not too loud. Cheers, thanks for that. Uh, that's all I needed to know. Because um, when I did this before uh, on the Atari, it was just not coming there right. Right, one last go. Up. One last go and bloody killed me. Retro Skelly, how you doing, mate? Yes, we have the BBC micro now actually playing, not just the test. Nerdy Geezer, how you doing, mate? We are playing the BBC Micro. Yay, got ya. Um, the BBC, and now everyone says that the BBC is, is a lot more colourful, a lot brighter and everything else. Um, but you also have to remember, it was almost like, what, four or five times the price of a Spectrum. It's lucky they got the, um, sorry, concentrating here, trying to do this keyboard controls. Gotcha. Woohoo. Well, hopefully, um, retro bait, Paul said he might jump on in a bit. That's if he's in the shed. Although Paul today has been watching the original uh, trilogy of Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Trek. Sorry, let's not offend all the Star Wars fans. Um, is that the right way around? Oh, who knows? I waffle when I play these games. And he can't actually ever remember finishing watching them. Better joystick. Do you know what? I do actually have a joystick for the BBC. Uh, and it's one of the worst joysticks I've ever used. It really is. Oh, no. No. Two. Oh. Star Wars prequels, yeah. Game over. Right. Let's hopefully this doesn't completely screw up the screen when I do this. It's gonna go a bit blurry. Uh, that's just how it's gonna be. Go on, load these games up. There we are. You press your shift and break, and then you can go through the games. There was a couple others that I wanted to show off. Um, oh, what was it now? Here we have Bubble Bobble on... Oh, hang on, I just realised I've still got... Yeah, joysticks were absolutely terrible. Um... I can't even remember where I've put it, to be honest. It is, is that bad? Oh, do you know what I do have to show off on this in a minute? Jetpack. Jetpack is completely different on the BBC. Just is. Um, oh, what was the controls again? Uh, w and E. Yeah, because it's two-player on the keyboard and control. Okay. And uh, what was control to blow bubbles? Tab. Right. W, E. Yeah, that's it. I need to move my hand around the keyboard. Right, let's get on with this. A little bit of bubble bubble. For the BBC Micro. Oh, I'm going to have to try and move this 
That's it. Apologize for knocking that then. Right, I think this uh, does actually have the sound on it as well. You have to view me if I don't talk much through this. <laughs> but you have to be quite quick. I think this is a very, very, very good port to bubble bubble, to be honest. With the high micros. I'll be live to you there, mate. Uh, if possible, can you guys share this stream? Just it makes it easier. Uh, I tend to never share them in the right places, so... People only ever find them afterwards. See, hurry up. I mean, give you almost no time at all. But yeah. Ah, oh, poop. Okay, mate. Look at that, all the way down. Go on, jump up here. I'm hurrying up, I'm hurrying. Oh, I can't reach him. Oh. Wow, that was bad. <laughs> can't get him. There, got him. I just wanted to show this one off of a good, good port, if not a little bit tricky. I'm going to do this level really easy, aren't I? Did any of you ever have a BBC Micro or play one? Was it just at school for education or something? That is really loud over here. <laughs> one thing that you can never get away with in school. I'm hurrying, look at the I'm killing them. Yay. Granny's garden. <laughs> Imagine if at school you were allowed to play things like bubble bubble. Yay. I think those people who was at school as well, um, not even that many people I knew had an A-corn electron. Pricey now as well, to be honest, the BBC Micros. I was telling my kids the other day that um, when I was at school, you used to have to book time to use the one computer that had the internet on it. And they just laughed at me. I didn't think I'd be playing this game that long. I'm really, I'm shouting over it. <laughs> so what do people think of this port? On oh, Bubble Bubble. Is it as good as, well, 
I only ever played... Did I play Bubble Bubble on the Spectrum? Okay, is it as good as the Commodore 64? And I'm asking that to Nerdy Geezer and to Hobby Lodge, you know, the uh, Commodore 64 fanboys in the room. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah. Oh. Personally, I'm glad that's over because I don't know how loud that was to you. But that was bloody loud this side. It really was. And the thing is, everything comes out the speaker that's in the BBC. So, uh, what else was I playing earlier? Oh, um, damn it, I can't remember it now. BC, but oh, I know what I do need. Oh, I know it'll bring back some memories for you. Let's go for F. Um, right, so we, do we need to move back over this way? Uh, Z and X, sorry, I have to get my hands on the keys before I start. Um, throws, yo, yo, yeah. Okay, here we go with some frack. Who remembers this game? See, now that is an awful lot quieter than Bubble Bobbler I was just playing. Never understood why there was like needles flying across the screen again. And what? Why would a balloon kill you? Blown away seeing this back in the day. Yeah, it's it's it was impressive. Um, Hobby Lodge. This game was funny back in the day because it gave kids a swear word that they could use that wasn't really a swear word. Oh, missed it. What was jump again? What was jump? I can't remember what the... Oh, that's freeze. Is it that one? Oh, it's up. Trying to figure out where the jump button was. No! Ah, oh, crack. <laughs> I can never get very far in this game, and it's even worse that I'm even leaning over a, uh, a keyboard. And that's my excuse, and I'm sticking with it. Extra points. I just love that when you hit them, they fly so far off the screen. I must admit, when it comes to the BBC, I do not ever remember one back in the day. And um, a lot of my nostalgia from things comes from modern collecting. Um... How did I end up with the BBC? I'm trying to remember now. I'm sure somebody was selling one as non-working and then doing a bit of... Oh, hang on. Crap, I missed. I have to kill him from this side. Um, and then I remember uh, being told it's the power supply that the capacitors go. I'm actually... I am fairly lucky. You know, I've got quite a few different consoles and computers, but I think I started collecting at the right time because god if i was going for these things now i mean i would love a bbc master uh for the simple reason that you can play a stunt car racer on it i would love to try that well i've just noticed a few other people have joined welcome uh i will have a look in a minute but at the moment i'm trying to uh not say those magic words playing this game it's so annoying. Oh, hang on. Now you're going to get me. It is so annoying to have to keep looking at the keys when I'm... Let's go down. Let's go down. Oh, that's, that, that's... Is that the wrong way? That is that jump too far? I think that jump might be too far. Oh, balls. Sorry, frack. Frack. That's what I should be saying. Where's the BBC oh, back in the day? Only ever heard of the C64 and Spectrum. Yeah. So let's go through a couple of comments we've got. Who have we got? Uh, 8-Bit Steve of the BBC. I still have it, but I never found a frack. Well, not every, you can't like every game. Um, 
impressively large sprites. Yeah, absolutely. Only game we had for the Archimedes was Lemmings. Oh, I wonder if Lemmings is on here. Um, ZX, ZX 48K. Archimedes was the Beeb. Yeah. Right, anyway, so let's go for another game. And I do love the 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 BBC um what games are going for? Oh what's E type? Shall we see what E type is? A any any suggestions of games I should play on the BBC? Let's go, because I don't know. Oh, far not found, that's probably why. <laughs> that's not a good start. Oh, D, 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 D. That's what it was. Sorry. Um, where is it? Is it dead? Desperate Dan? What's Desperate Dan? Hmm. I'm, was it Daredevil Dennis? Can anyone help me out? Oh, Chucky Egg. What? How the hell did I forget about Chucky Egg? Right, there we know where we're going. Daredevil Dennis. That was it. Daredevil Dennis. We'll do Chucky Egg after. Daredevil Dennis. It's another loud one. Can't skip it either. Right, so it's really quite simple. This one, uh, you space bar to jump, you shift to accelerate, and you return. You stop, but we don't stop in this game. You just labyrinth. Acorn stuff was one of my faves. Of course, elite. Oh, obvious. Uh, sorry. Do you know what? Whenever I think about. Um, Whenever I think about the BBC and that, it's like Elite is the one game that comes to mind, but it's not really one that you could properly stream. I'll probably turn it on just to show the, the load screen or the intro bit, because uh, the way that the ship moves around on that game, I think, is amazing. I really do. Um, excellent. Oh, unfortunately, this and, and a friend of mine, uh, Nintendo Alex Arcade, Arcade Nintendo Alex, whichever way around it is, um, has got the same BBC, and he's one of his favourite games is Exile. Um, but the the SD to BBC does not load that game. It loads it up, but won't let you start the game, and it's so annoying. So, yeah, let's um, let's do this. Daredevil Dennis. We'll go for novice first, and it's a really simple game, loud game. Building. All you got to do is get to the end and not do that. <laughs> Does anyone else remember, remember Daredevil Dennis? Oh, just, I just suddenly remembered, what was the game that you used to be able to... Was it Alchemy? Was that that one where you could change into a cat and, and a bird and things? Oh, come on. How do we hit the ambulance three times in a row? It's not a very good ambulance, is it? Fired. Let's go again. Hey. Right, let's go. The time is a bit better this time. Hopefully. Yay. No. Tree. <laughs> oh, you can tell I've not played this game for a very long time. Oh, we got it. We got it. We got it. Have we got it? Oh, we haven't got it. <laughs> Alchemy, Wizard and Eagle. Is that... So that was the game. Um, really good game, that one. I'm trying to say this is a good game and I can't even get fully past the first screen. Come on. No. 
Oh, just about. Now we're about. Now we're about. Damn. Knew that was coming. Um, there is a game on this. I did a video of it a long, long time ago where you play as Hitler. And I can't remember what it's called, and it's bugging me. You're a Hitler that used to bang his head on, uh, you had to blow up bombs with your head. Um, right, anyway, what I was going to show is that was that one. Uh, F, let's see what the hardest level's like. Because I can't even get anywhere near this level. Look at it. How am I supposed to get through there? Fucking copper. Follow me. Didn't mean to swear. <laughs> Try and keep swearing off the streams, but you know, sometimes they slip out. No, not a chance. You, I think you had to have been a proper expert to play this one. Here we go. Got down one level. Can we do another one? Full speed. Jump. No, I'll just die instead. Nutter. That was it. Thank you. Yes, it's Nutter. That's the one. I, okay. I, I, I'm going to try to remember that one. Um, but I did say we're going Chucky Egg. Chucky Egg. Where are you? Oh, obviously not in the bees. Oh, chopper two. There we are. Chucky egg. Now, this is a classic. Pete, how you doing, mate? Uh, it's amazing how uh, a BBC stream will... Uh... God, I love it. Yeah, also love Chucky. Pete, give us a list of some games that you absolutely love playing on the BBC. Didn't you do a top 10? Um, change keys, K. Okay, I'm going to have to go K okay, because I just need to uh, move it around this side so I can play it. I'm trying to reach around the uh, bloody tripod. Up. There. That won't let me go down that way. Okay. I'll have to redo these in a second. Ain't going to work, is it? Um, okay, start again. Oh, no. Oh, do you know what? Hang on. Let's, let's, let's do this again. I messed up there. I messed up there. Good thing when you haven't got to wait for it to reload again, though. Just like that. I uh, said, yeah, um, Nintendo Alex Arcade is also a big fan of the um, of the BBC Micro. I, again, I think it's another one of those computers that tends to just be forgotten about. Everyone always talks about Spectrum, Commodore 64, Amstrad CPC. And I was playing on the TI-99 yesterday. Uh, that one always gets forgotten about. The BBC as well is another one I think people just don't ever pay much attention to. Hang on, so we're going to go, I'm going to go up, down, left, right, jump. There we go. Now we can start. One player. Now this is a true classic. Even that sound, that sound of the jumping. I have played this on many, many ports. Oh, pressed the wrong button then. Um, but going back to these original ones, they're great, they really are. I'm a bit rusty, I'm a bit rusty. I will come back and have a look at your uh, list in a minute, Pete. I'm trying not to get my ass handed to me on level one of Chucky Egg. That would be embarrassing. 
Got missed. Did did um, Chucky A not Chucky A? Did the BBC get a port of um, Jet Set Willy and Manic Miner? We. There is a port of um, Chucky Egg on the Amiga, and I thought, oh, that's great. It's an Amiga port. It's bound to be good. Absolutely terrible. One of the worst games I think I've ever played. And I've played some shit. Oh, wrong way. There we are. Arkanoid. Oh, yeah, I was playing Arkanoid earlier. Um, I was genuinely shocked how good that was. Oh, this one always annoys me. Got to wait for it. Got yeah. Always miss that. Always. Turned the wrong way. Off we go. I apologise if I'm not talking too much on this. Uh, I've got to watch it come at the top of the screen. Uh, now. Let's go down this side. Oh, I meant to jump. Oh, why do I always forget? Paul, how you doing, mate? Nice to see you here. This is the BBC Micro uh, Gameplay live stream. Hopefully it's coming through okay. But I went through the platform then. Uh, we're, we're doing sort of like one level impossible mission. Thrust. Thrust is one that. Oh, hang on. Was that it? Why am I not moving? Oh, it's because I've moved my hands. Um, Thrust is one that I did play quite a bit and I went back to earlier just before doing this stream. I, I've completely forgotten how to do the controls. Um, what was the game? Um, Nutter, wasn't it? Nutter. Let's go with some Nutter. I will go through the comments now and have a look. Um, this game was unfair. Killer Gorilla games are awesome. Donkey Kong clones, yeah. Oh, forgot about that one. Repton. Repton, however you say that. Um, piece of magic stuff, right. Yeah, thrust. Um, you, you're not a fan of that game, are you, Lee? <laughs> I'll have to put that one on. I will have to put that one on. Um, so, yeah. Should I really put that up on the screen? <laughs> All right. Um, do you know what? I actually don't remember the sequel. The, right. I've got Banana Man. Don't man, don't know banana man. Um, we're going to N, aren't we? Oh, evil weevil. Where were they? I just saw that then. The evil weevil games were really quite good. Um, should we do some Empire Strikes Back for you, Lee? Do you want a bit of Star Wars? There it is, D. Nutter. Now, how the hell was this game? I know everyone says it was a spoof game, but this. Um, what is the controls? Space to play. Oh, there we are. ZX, move left and right. These buttons here to move my head. And yeah, let's go. That is Hitler. And I missed. And I blew hit the rock. This one's not coming through so well. I've just now I looked on my screen. Oh, come on. How close do you have to get to hit it? If I get too close, it's going to blow me up. Oh, dear. Who would have thought a game with Hitler in it would have been uh, this bad? One more go. Yay. Got one. Doing it, we're doing it. Oh, 
Oh, it's all gone. Loads of games got released on the BBC. Um, they, they just did. That was just a bit of fun. Daredevil. Yes, no. Live. What was I playing earlier? Gorf. I saw I was playing Gorf. Empire Strikes Back. Should we do that one? For the Star Wars fan in the room? No. Let's see. Ooh, it's a bit flickery, that one. For some reason, this one is a bit... Well, can you see it flickering on the screen? Um, T... Oh, bloody hell, what are these? T, space... QA, OP, yeah. Space laser. Okay, that makes sense. You want to change these? No. One player. Um, it's not good. It's quick. Where's the rest of my ship, though? <laughs> I don't like this. Trying to aim and steer and everything with the keyboard is a bit tricky. Hang on, I'll have a look in comments in a minute. I can't quite tell if that one's walking forward or backwards. Well. Oh, the TIE Fighters. I, I am not a fan. Not a fan of this game. I think it might have been better with a joystick. Hey, I shot one. I shot two. Right. Calling that. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like that. Sorry, Lee, I know you're a big Star Wars fan, and that's probably not one of the better ones out there. Right, let's have a look and see if it's making me queasy. It's making me bloody queasy as well. Um, that was not good. Really wasn't. No, there is joysticks on, on the BBC, but if anyone ever tells you about a BBC, 95% um, of people played it with the keyboard. Because the joysticks that came with it are absolutely terrible. Um, they really are. Um, oh, Arkanoid, wasn't I? I was going to go Arkanoid. D. Now, I do genuinely think this is a very good port of Arkanoid. Oh, where's my keys? There, sorry. Had my hand on the wrong side of the keyboard. I don't know what I'm saying sorry for. It's been losing. <laughs> it's just very colourful, very smooth, very me losing very quickly. Yeah. I, I, I noticed that earlier when I when I played it. It was I was genuinely shocked 
how good this is. Even more shocking is my, my ability to play the bloody thing. Does anyone ever have this when they do a live stream or anything like this? That you can do great playing a game when, you, when you're practicing beforehand. The second you go live, you make yourself look like an absolute idiot um, because you can't do nothing. Right, let's try again. At least hit it back once. It's quick. One thing this is, is very, very quick. Oh, I missed it. Oh. laser as well. Oh. <laughs> so that was a quick one. Oh, what I'm enjoying with these um, these Let's Plays and stuff like that is just moving through some games, especially with these um these kind of uh, computers and everything, there are so many. I mean, look, look how many games. We've got 66 pages of games on here. Um, let's go with... Let's really go to... Oh, does this actually have Hero? Hmm. Did... Hopper? Did somebody say Hopper earlier? Hex, Hercules. No, it doesn't look like it had a port of hero. Sire was supposed taxi on the BBC. Let's should we go and have a look? Um don't go too far. Mm, not unless you can see it on there. Space for no, I don't think it does. I'll have to actually have a look. I wonder if there's a port of scramble on here. Starport Star Maze. Spy versus Spy. I wonder how that is. I can never play that game. Oh, Spy Hunter. Sorry. <laughs> game I like. With speech. Um, AS left and right. Uh, where's my arrow key? Accelerate. Decelerate. Yeah. That music. I'm sure it said that was Accelerate. I pressed the wrong button. Anyway, Pete, what, I just saw one there. Um, this one. Let's give that one a try. Considering I just completely messed up that then. Where is it? I can't actually see it on there. Hmm. 
No, I can't see it. Yeah, it's got Tetris on here. Tetris, tennis, tapper, tank. Oh, Tempest. I wonder if Tempest is any good on here. How did I move? How do I move? One, come on. Keyboard, yes. Okay, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> I can't find the button to move. Mission Impossible. Is it Mission Impossible or Impossible Mission? Oh, hang on. Do you know what? While we're here, now while we're here, because um, I know I forget. Do you know what Jetpack is like on the on the um, on the Spectrum? An absolute classic game on the Spectrum. Um, well, this is it's. Um, yeah, let's just play it. One player keyboard F three. Yeah. Sound. Should we put sound on? Go. Let's go for full effect. Ain't gonna work. And F one one player. Yeah. Oh, I turned the sound. Wasn't supposed to turn the sound off. But this just looks wrong. It's Impossible Mission. Mission Impossible is a great TV series. Horrible films. <laughs> Oh, I've gone for this run again. This always happens when I play things like this live, where... Oh, that's it. Shift. Well, that's that. That's that. So where's left and right? That's left and right. Okay. All right, let's try this again. Now, this one just is not as good. I I am not a fan of this jetpack, and I love jetpack. I really do. But I just don't think this is a good port. Now, it's too big. The sprites are too big. You can't do anything. Right, it's impossible mission. Yeah, it absolutely. It is absolutely terrible port. Shall we see if... Shall we see if this has got some a speech in it? No, it does not look like it does. What? No, I don't want to abort. I want to actually move. Right, that's it. I'm just going to go with some games that I know work, that I enjoy, and then we're going to finish this stream. Beat your head. Uh, Gorf. Where is it? I was playing that earlier. I went past it. E. Uh, 
caps lock that one and return to fire. Nice and simple. Classic shooter. Yay, got them all. I tell you what, it's a little bit easier this than the um what was I playing? The BBC, not the BBC, the Vic 20. I was playing it on. Never bloody hit these. I'm, I'm going right through it. Go on. And he got me. I will try alchemy after this. I'm sure there's just like one pixel you need to hit. I think it's that bit in the middle there. Oh, come on. That's not the only the ship left. Okay, that's not a ship anymore, is it? Okay. Finally. Oh, and it just loops back around. So, where were we going? Alchemy, wasn't it? Hey, look, there's Attic Attack. I did not know Attic Attack was on the BBC. You'll have to forgive me looking through these. See, I can't see it. Oh my god, there's Airwolf. There's Airwolf on the BBC. Right, we're trying Airwolf. Is it worse? Arkanoid, please. We have already played Arkanoid. Um, yeah, absolutely amazing port. Right, we've got ZX. Up, down. Space bar to fire. Right, nice and simple. Um, it doesn't hover. What? Okay. Where am I going? We're just going to go through there. Where am I going? Okay. There's an arrow pointing that way. Have I got a land? Don't think I've got a land. No, that's not what I've got to do.
Did anyone play Airwolf? What what am I doing wrong here? Hi right, Tess, how you doing, mate? Oh, hang on, Could, was that just a drum a bomb dropping down? Oh yes, we're gonna do that. I can't get out of this spot. Please, can someone tell me what am I? Where am I supposed to go? <laughs> I can't get out of this room. Am I just going to shoot the barrier? Is there a button to release the barrier? I, I'm, I'm stuck. <laughs> Are these buttons I've got to press? <sighs> oh, I don't know. I don't like it. We're moving on. Oh, and it's crashed my computer. Okay, everyone ready for the classic BBC Micro Beep? You ready? That's some nostalgia for you. Oh, actually, gee, this one I do actually like. Remember the keys? That one, that one. That one, that one. Turn to block, okay. Nope. I want to go straight to killing myself and dying over and over again. Kind of like a, a Pac-Man, but 3D. Oh, he got me. <laughs> Might have to turn the BBC on. I must admit, Pete, um, I actually haven't used the BBC for a long time. Um, the reason why I decided to put it on today was because I was, I was in a shop. He's um, not a charity shop. He's more of like a, a general junk shop. He buys lots of stuff in and, and sells them off. And he had three BBC micro games. Um, but he had about like five quid each. I think it was more a okay, case so that he didn't actually want to sell them. So, yeah, that's what made me think, well, you know, let's, let's pair up the BBC. Tell you what, it's quite difficult to figure out where you need to go on this. The 3D isn't the best. Trying to avoid these. They don't kill you straight away. They just drain your health. So you can sort of like kind of just touch, touch them and avoid them. And they, or they can just kill you like that. Uh, there were cassette games. One was um, Mr. E. One was Gorf. And I can't remember what the other one was. But there were, 50, there were five quid each. It turns out, though, that the reason why he had them at that price is because he didn't... Well, I, I don't think he wants to sell them. There's somebody else in the shop who apparently has been um, buying all their stuff um, who works for him, who has been saving this all, and he told me he had Dragon 32s and Spectrums and, and everything that he's been collecting over the years. And hopefully, this place is looking for volunteers. If I can get in there and volunteer... Um, the same place I got that, that uh, figure from, um, Acid Drops. What the hell is Acid Drops? Should we have a look what Acid Drops is? It's loud. I'm back. <laughs> nice to have you here, mate. It really is. Press yes for yes or no for, uh, no, for no. Uh, no. Right, so... 
whatever this game is, we will see. ZX, that one, that one, and return to fire. Right, space to start. Oh, this is not what I was expecting. Oh, hang on. What? I, so I can shoot that? Or am I not supposed to shoot that? Because that's clearly the acid at the top that's eating through. I don't, I don't think it's coming through on the camera. But that little... Um... Oh, so I'm going to die before it anyway. This up here, let me shoot through it and I'll show you what I mean. See, look, now there's drips coming out of it. So have I got to protect that? I think I have. I think the whole idea is to protect that and not hit it as much. <laughs> it looks like I'm going to have to find a decent emulator. Do you know what? I'm sure that there are. Um, there are some amazing games. Droid. Right, I, I will go through. It's it's actually let's let's go and have a look. I apologise with me going through these menus and not seeing the games that you guys are saying. Uh, it's just the way my dyslexia works. I can probably be looking directly at it and not see it. So, um, st Strikers Run, did you say? I hear thrust a lot. People are seeing the beavers. Oh, we hear that a lot, sorry. But you know what? Let's see what Attic Attack is like on the BB BBC. Yeah, let's see what let's see what that's like. Night wizard or let's go wizard. Oh, that's some big that's some big sprites. Oh, hang on, I'm trying to figure out what the buttons are. So that's left or right. Wait, what's up and down then? No, I can't find up and down. Now I paused it. That's fire weapon. No, I generally can't find up and down. But uh, yeah, it looks impressive. Uh, that's some really good chunky sprites on that. I mean, I've it's not really a game that you can quickly put on and play now, is it? Um, right, what were you saying, Pete? The droid. Droid. A, B, C, D. No, it does not look like it's on there. I'm sure somebody asked earlier... Oh, hang on. Donkey Kong Jr. Donkey Kong's a good game. Elk Invaders. Elite... Right, even though we probably won't play a lot of it, let's just have a look at Elite. Code name droid, sorry. Just just look at that. I mean it is still impressive to this day, I think. Look at those ships. But yeah, that was just a quick because we, we can't really sit and play that. That is not a game that you can uh, play. <laughs> Have I tried writing my own game? Yeah. Old enough just trying to write in general, let alone code a game. Um, I've never... We have one who lets uh, my autism hold me... Autism, for sake. Dyslexia, hold me back. Maybe autistic, you never know. Um, but I know my limitations. Uh, I really do. 
Max. Atom Smasher. Sounds interesting. M. Oh, that one does not want to work. No, that one didn't want to work. Oh, you said code name. What was it? Code name droid. Code name droid. No. Yeah. Oh, hang on. There we are. K. Okay. I got you. There we are. So. This is a, the sequel to that game there. <laughs> oh, that. Oh, okay. That's impressive. That is really impressive. Now, let's see what kind of game this is. Hey, I'm liking this already. Right, what are our controls? Right, we're left and right. Jump. Is there a fire button? So it looks like he's got a... Have I just paused that? What's fire? Not that one. Oh, what's at the top of the... Okay, now I'm just a skeleton. Um, we should have told me the controls at the beginning. Yeah, this was incredible. So I, I could I can see why. Oh, hang on. Now I've got weapon. Why did I have a weapon that time? Oh, I like their death animation. Okay, so that's that. How do we go up there? Jump. That's it. There was this down. Sorry, I'm just trying to get used to controls. Um, this. Oh, I had that as jump. Why is he not jumping? I cannot. I had that as jump. That was my jump button. It was going down. It was going down again. Not jumping. <laughs> Look at that little crawl. Can he do the moonwalk? No. Okay, I think I'll need to. Oh, I think jetpack. I, Pete, I'm gonna have to play this game off off the live stream because I need to figure it out. There seems to be an awful lot more to it. But wow, impressive, impressive game that one. Astro Plumber. Hang on. I'm sure there was something called Evil Weevil. Evil, de Evil Dead. Evil Dead's on here. Felix and the Fruit Monsters. Ah, no, it's the Felix ones. Okay, that's it. Evil Weevils. P. Hey. I'm sure it was this one that I played. Return to spray, that was it. And shift to reverse belts. This game I really liked. Right, you've got to spray the weevils that come out. You see that spray that's come up there? Now I've got a spray. You don't want to do that, because you did.
Oh, was it something about those eggs you had to avoid as well? I'm sure it was. Yeah, frack is good. We have played frack already. Oh, no, not that way. Go down the pipe. Where is he? There he is. Ah, that was it. There was the weevil thingies. Yeah, that's it now. Right, come on. Got to wait for to, one of them to come down here. Oh, no, I'd already wasted it. Damn. <laughs> I wasted it just trying to figure out how to use it. There it is. There's another one. Right. You can change the direction as well of the the platforms, but I'm not going to be doing that at the moment. I just want to kill one of them. <laughs> Get up there. Go on. Get back here. Oh, he killed me in the pipe. He killed me in the pipe. Oh, that was a good one. He's got a little flat cap on him, but Go on, I've got to kill one of these little bloody things. Yes, got ya. Go for the bonus. Ah, <laughs> Bonus didn't work. You really do need to... Uh, I remember playing this game and getting really quite good at it. But then again, I, it has been a very long time. <sighs> Definitely been a long time. Hypersports being a good game. Can we see. Um, I think I'm going to choose like two more games and then I'm going to call it. Got to, I'm over the hour. I normally like to do air with streams. Um, but yeah, I've just been having a fun, having fun blasting through these, finding some. Oh, Boulder Dash. Do you see what the Boulder Dash port is like? Interesting choice of colours. Oh, that's crazy. And it plays very well. Do you know, I have never played the NES port of Boulder Dash. And I don't know why. I really should. We clear one screen. With these Let's Play that I'm going to do, they genuinely are never going to be epic, oh, look what I can do, you know what I mean? Great gameplay. It's more about just going through some of the games. I'm trying to talk over that, it isn't good. Uh, it's, it's more about just going through some of the games, see if we can find a hidden gem, um, laugh at my bad gameplay along the way. And if it sparks a memory that you have forgotten about for a, you know for a very long time, even better. I don't think there's anything in this room. I think this was always a cheat room. Yeah, I knew that. Pete, if you are still on here, um, was it a kid that wrote the? Is it the reptilian um, games? I'm sure it was. He's really quite a young kid that coded them. Or I may be talking absolute rubbish, you know. Oh, 
I will be on the Micro Maniac stream over on um, Nerdy Geezer's channel. If you have not subbed to him already, definitely get over and give his channel a watch. He is doing a lot of stuff with the micros at the moment. Um, so maybe we will talk about the BBC Micro. When, when was it on, um, Lee? Am I missing one? I must be missing one. Is it this Saturday? I tell you, oh, no, that Pete, you'd be absolutely great. Uh, you'd have a great time on the uh, Micromaniac stream. Oh, I did. I missed all these. Oh, all that and hit the bomb. <laughs> 8 p.m. Sunday. Yeah, Kidder wrote Reptilian was 15. Thought he was. No, I'm not going back through that again. <laughs> Blew myself up right at the end. Uh, random. Random, random, random. Any on this page. Guy in the hat. Gunsmoke. Gunsmoke sounds familiar. Gunsmoke definitely sounds familiar. AZ. And left, man, right. And shift to fire. Okay. Oh, that's loud. I can't skip it. I press space to start. Wow, I didn't even get a chance to do anything. Okay. <laughs> this was not worth the wait. <laughs> oh, but Pete, you're off to Norway. Uh, I hope you have a great time, mate. Um, so how come I, I'm only aiming over this way? How can I not aim back? Yeah, we'd be great to see you on there. And yeah, Nerdy Geezer, Micromaniacs, 8 o'clock. Definitely get over there if you like your micros. Um, I will be on. I actually have a Mattel Aquarius, which will be showing off as well. If you don't know the Mattel Aquarius, don't worry. Not a lot of people do. Um, it was a complete flop. Absolute complete flop. What do they have froggeries? Well, they have froggers on everything, isn't it? Galactic Command, Galaxy Birds, Galaxy Wars, um, Funfair. No adventures? Yeah, why not? That sounds interesting. Probably isn't going to be interesting. Yeah, it doesn't look like Gunsmoke, does it? Good luck on your journey. This is going to be an adventure. It is. It is. It's a text adventure. Oh, I can't. I know what I'm going to finish it on. Now what I'm going to finish on. And this is going to be the last game. Um... There we are. One for Nerdy Geezer. To finish off the stream, we're going to go with some thrust. That interest, uh, I do like that, though. Uh, right. Now, if I can remember how these controls work, because honestly, it's it, it takes a while to get used to. I'm probably not going to show off this game in its best light because um, it really it takes a lot of control. Right. Caps lock. Control that way, that way. Um, return and shift, thrust and fire, shield. Right, we're ready to go. Doesn't mean we're going. No. <laughs> Wrong button. Press every button apart from the button I needed. It is all about. Yeah, the physics in this game are 
something else to re-up. I mean, just look at that moves. <laughs> the physics are amazing in this game. Ah, didn't press it for soon enough. If I can just get past this level, I'll be doing good. No, I let go of the buttons. <laughs> I used my, the wrong hand to do the buttons. That's it. There. That's why. Keep your hand on those buttons. Now you gotta be careful. No, hopefully I've got enough fuel. Yay, there we go. <laughs> Maybe not mess about at the end. <laughs> yeah, it's tricky. It's one of these ones that you've just gotta get so used to the controls. Because if you've got to think for a second on this game of am I pressing the right button, you've already lost. <laughs> Ah, see, again, wrong button. <laughs> Game over. One last try. One last try. Yeah, that's my name. All right, that's it. Got to let go of it. <laughs> Tell you what makes you think this game. <laughs> Wrong button. That one. Right, I'm going to play Thrust for a while after this stream's gone. And come back <laughs> and show you how this game could be, can be played. Tell you what, Pete, I would love to see... Um, of gameplay have you played thrust oh god go no i hit the fuel i hit the fuel i'm not gonna get this one at all am i i should have done that then I'm surprised I got that. I didn't get that one. I died. <laughs> well, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. And on that note, uh, it's been an enjoyable stream. It really has. I um, It's gone on longer than I thought it was going to do. Just going through some of these old games on the BBC Micro that have been sort of like forgotten about. It's been great fun. It really has. Uh, I'll definitely be doing this again on the BBC because you saw there's so many, so many different games on here. And I think it's been very, very, um, it's very underrated and, and forgotten about. So thanks, everyone, for joining me. Um, there's definitely more to come. And um, I will catch you all again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.